Well, we're going to want some chocolate this weekend. We've had well, a lot we of gloomy weather around East Texas, and when that sun comes out, I think that's going to brighten up everyone. We had to get through one more round of rain to come through. And speaking of rain, we've been in more of a drought situation here through the month of December into January. We've had some off and on burn bans as well, but there is some good news in related to our drought monitor. This is where we were last week, where we had the severe drought encompassing a good part of the area. An update this week, it's a small update because we didn't get a lot of rainfall last week, but there was just enough from that strong to severe system Friday night to be able to put the severe drought to shrink it just a little bit more. This might not be the best news, but let me give you a little bit more better news. We're running a little bit more above average in terms of rainfall for January from our three main reporting sites. So in Tyler so far, we've had just over two inches. The normal for the month is about three inches of rainfall for Longview. Normal about three and one third. We're at 2.21. So good signs here and Lufkin almost at four inches of rain. And there's the normal for the month at 4.18. And we're just past the halfway point for the month of January, and it does look like more rain is to come our way. So we will probably end the month most likely above normal, given how the trends are expected to play on out. Speaking of rain, nothing happening for us here at home. There have been a couple of showers nearby Interstate 30. Most of the ongoing rain is across parts of the Red River. Thankfully, we're not talking about temperatures at freezing. This is a big time mess ongoing from western Oklahoma through the Panhandle and then snow on the northern side of this up into Kansas. For us, we're going to stay dry through the rest of tonight and as we head into tomorrow morning, but the cloud cover will still hold and it is going to be a rather cold start to our day. Now into the afternoon, we'll begin to warm up. Well, our focus will turn toward the initial round of showers and thunderstorms. Looks very impressive off to the west, but the forecast models do have it weakening as it begins to move in. However, as the cold front gets closer, a resurgence of those showers and thunderstorms will pick up overnight and heading into to, uh, early on Saturday morning. There will be some pockets of some moderate to heavier rain that will push through. I can't rule out a strong thunderstorm. We just don't have a lot of moisture with us to see widespread severe weather, so it's a low chance that we see a stronger storm. But after about 7 a.m. Saturday morning, this rain chance will start to come to an end and look what happens on Saturday. We are finally talking about decreasing clouds and the return of sunshine, although it will be cold over the weekend. That sun, though, I think will make a big difference. I wish we could have some tomorrow for Friday. Unfortunately, we won't. We will have some milder temperatures, though, into the 60s, but that comes with some mist and drizzle late tomorrow afternoon before the rain moves in. Seven day forecast breezy and colder for the weekend with decreasing clouds and chilly weather, especially on Sunday and Monday. Next week, even colder on Tuesday before we see the return of some storm chances by next Wednesday and Thursday. Deep East Texas, rain for you late tomorrow evening into early on Saturday, but it clears out fairly quickly, and I think we're going to really enjoy the weekend with sunshine.